Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, we've finished our morning walk with the adult and uh, we're out with, we split the litters up in half. I've got uh, 10 puppies, I think, I hope. Um, and it's half and half, both uh, ladies and racist puppies together. Um, they're now going out. Today's their first time off property. We've gone for a little drive. It's the first time in the car, first time in the cages. And just to see their exploration, what they're doing, if they've got the noses down. Because that's what we're trying to stimulate now. Um, but they're out there, they're exploring. This is what I wanted, this is what I want, is that the dogs are actually using their noses. This is the whole, my whole idea is curiosity that they're getting out there, they're looking around. And they're not, you know, going absolutely crazy, they're using their heads. Um, on the previous video, uh, we were talking about fear drive, fear, uh, the fear period, and um, had a couple of comments on that. And what I said right at the beginning of the series of videos on these two litters was that our breed is split into two. You have your German Shepherd, and you have those that want it to be a Berger Blanc, a, a distinct breed apart. And it is, it's split into two. Um, and you can see that quite clearly on the comments. We have breeders from Germany who will always, for them it'll always be a German Shepherd. And the mythology, the, everything else, is always going to be geared up that way. What we're looking at is something slightly different. And to try and find out the identity of our breed, study it, and utilise what we have, not to try and make it into anything else. Um, to understand it, the intelligence is an incredibly intelligent animal. I don't think they're a high drive dog, particularly. Um, this environment where we live in, and you can see it, um, is a very touristy area. Everything's on liberty. Uh, the cows, the sheep, this, that and the other. We have people cycling, horseback riding, goats. Um, I couldn't live with 15 dogs and have them on liberty in this sort of place if they were high drive by nature. They're not. They're incredibly intelligent. They do have drive. That drive can be stimulated. Um, <coughs> but they're also incredibly intuitive and intelligent. And it's that that I want to tap into. And as I said, you know, the breed is split into two. You can see that quite clearly on the comments, both in America and in Europe. And if you want a Berger Blanc that's brought up in the German Shepherd way, you go and find those kennels. There's no point in coming to me, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> you go and find those kennels that are going for that high drive. Personally, I think the 21st century is the end of the high drive dog. Technology is going to replace those drives. Already we have drones that are replacing the sheepdog. They're herding sheep using drones. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And we have to be looking at things different towards the future. The German Shepherd was the dog for the 20th century. But is it going to be the dog for the 21st? And that drive and everything else that went there. But if you want high drive, you go to those kennels. And that's what they'll give you. Um, so anyway, as I say, we're just out. I want to see how they are, new environment. They seem pretty calm, and that's what I want. They're not going all over the top. You don't have this high excitement. They're very close to me, as you can see. Oh. Hello, Jingles. No more. So, this is the second group. First time in the cage, first time in the corner, same as the other one. That's good, straight out. That's nice. That's what you want. Okay, Was that worth it? says as he stands on the puppy <coughs> and another one go away nasties yeah what's going on there tinkles <laughs> so we're going to start the week with a bit of pressure something new and that's what we do, just slowly build up the pressure on them. And it doesn't seem a lot, but getting in the car, getting in a crate for the first time. And then seeing their reaction when they come out. Are they hyperactive? Are they scared? What do they 
actually do. That is the trait of a bridge, it's got a huge nose on it, you know. Um, and it's allowed them to stimulate that rather than train it, I feel. And find out their boundaries with their sensors and then we train afterwards, not before. Anybody who's got a Berger Blanc knows it's got huge, huge potential. Um, at the moment, that potential is unrealised. Um, and to that extent, why we've gone a different way in the way we look at things. Um, as I said before, um, the breed is split in two. You always have those people who believe it to be a German Shepherd. It was a tried and tested method for the German Shepherd. Um, but the German Shepherd's a man-made dog. Even its design, the shape of it, is, is so out of this world now. Um, <laughs> and it was a dog for the 20th century. And this is... We're, we're in that unique uh, position where if the Colonel von Serbital is right that it's all to do with the parents and all the genetics and everything else in that development, here we are in the 21st century where we can go a different direction. Uh, a dog for the 21st century. The German Shepherd was for the 20th. And uh, as I said, um, nowadays you've got drones herding sheep. You've got drones guarding warehouses. Um, pretty soon we're going to have drones doing search and rescue. They're going to be equipped with infrared, night vision, and all sorts of things. And they're going to be relaying that information direct to an office in, <laughs> in the middle of a city. Um, the working dog, there's going to be huge changes with technology, as I said, just, just as there's huge changes for the horse. The Western civilization was built on the back of the horse. And with the advent of combustion engine, steam engine, the telegraph pole, those jobs, communication, transportation, agriculture, all those jobs disappeared. Um, and now technology is going to take the place of the dog for working to a great extent, I feel. And as I said, we need to be looking towards the future in our development of if we want a working dog. And I do believe we're in a good position with the Berge Blanc on that. We know it's a highly intelligent dog. Anybody who's got one can see the potential. And it's to utilise that and it's to understand it better. German Shepherd method never worked. For a hundred years it never worked. So I can't see it working now. Isn't that right, Twinkle? Good day to you. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, I know it's your turn. Bit late. Bit late in the morning, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, a little late. Gently, 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 yeah, gently. <laughs> gently. <laughs> So, as I say, you want a high prey drive dog, a high drive dog, then you go to those kennels. You want a dog that they're trying to balance, rather, um, then you find a Berger Blanc kennel, because that's what it's about, balance. 
at the end of the day. And um, I'll try and put a few links up uh, with the video. I'm trying to explain it better. I'll put it in writing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Gently, gently. Gently. Yo. Yeah, giddy. Gently, gently. Oh, yeah.